This is a unique product. It's the very first of its kind, though its very existence makes me wonder why it hasn't been done before. It is a simple yet elegant solution to a problem that many didn't even know existed, and it does the very thing that Rode does best. It simplifies the content creation process for those of us that don't have the time for the learning curve. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Rode Streamer X. This thing feels like it's built to the same standard as the Rodecaster Pro 2. All the things feel all the same. The smart pads, the knobs, the inputs, nothing here feels cheap. The unit itself isn't overly light for its size either. Even the mic preamp is the same as the Rodecaster Pro 2. On top of the unit, you have those two knobs that control the microphone and headphone operation. Really love the metering on these things. To a point, it's granular, but not an eyesore. It is a nice touch. Now, both have push button operation. On the mic side, pushing it selects the type of input you want to control, while the headphone side just mutes the signal. And below that, you have these two pads for controlling your output. The mic side cuts the mic feed at a push, and the video pad cuts the video feed. And if you're familiar with Rode products, you will know what is on the right side of this unit. These are smart pads, and they're more than just trigger pads for fun sound effects, though they do that as well. Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> How about ASMR like this? What do you think? Could I sell it? These things do a whole bunch of cool things and can also be programmed to integrate with OBS. Now, on the rear of the unit, your I.O. is pretty straightforward. You have secondary power in. Yes, this thing is bus powered and it will work perfectly fine off the USB of your computer. But if you're using this with any mobile devices, you'll need that power supply. Again, like the Rodecaster Pro 2, you have two input options for two computers or a computer and USB mic or whatever else you can dream up for input 2. Then you have the HDMI in and through. Now, the through option allows you to have a video monitoring device set up or go to a TV so you can actually see the game you're playing. Now, right beside that, you have the headphone output as well as the headphone mic input. And of course, you have the XLR input and the phantom power switch right beside that. Lastly, and another small touch that I absolutely love, on the back side of the unit you have a quarter inch mount so you can have this thing on a boom arm or some kind of stand. I really like that a lot and I think this needs to become a common feature on more interfaces. Let's start with the video specs. Now the input and pass through are both HDMI 2.0 and that does matter if you want to stream 4K30. It also captures at 1440 at 60 frames per second, 1080 at 120 frames per second, and 1080 at 60 FPS with HDR. I should also mention that you can do 4K 60 HDR pass through with this unit. As for the audio inputs, you have a combo jack that is for a mic or instrument, a wireless receiver, and of course the audio that's coming over the HDMI all of which have a frequency range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. And the rest of the audio specs are ripped straight from the Rodecaster Pro 2, like the 113 dB of dynamic range and the EIN of NAG 131 dB VA weighted. You also have that 76 dB of gain range. Oh, and by the way, it's 24 bit and 48 kilohertz. And for those of you that are curious, this unit has two gigs of internal storage for those smart pads. So first off, when you get this thing, you're going to have to download the latest version of Rode Central. Then it might prompt you to update the firmware on the unit. Now it's a pretty quick process and I had this thing up and running in minutes. Now one thing I will have to say is you need to make sure you're using the cables you have for this thing, specifically the cable that comes with the unit that plugs into your computer. For me, because my computer is a bit crap, I needed to source a Type-C to Type-A cable that was USB 3.0. Now, personally, I would love if Rode could include one of those for the people like me who don't have Type-C connectivity on their computer. Now, I do have Type-C on my laptop, but it's frustratingly not fast enough for this interface. And the other cable you need to make sure you have is an HDMI 2.0 cable if you want that 4K support. Now, these cables are not all the same. You do have to remember that. And if you bought a cheap one off Amazon, it might be HDMI 1.4, and that won't work for 4K. So just keep that in mind. From here on out, it's a pretty basic setup. The Rode Central app is about as straightforward as it gets. Now make sure you have the right input selected on the Streamer X and you will notice all the options in here. You can apply the effects here as well. And basically this thing kind of turns into a virtual Rodecaster Pro 2. 
I should also point out that the AFEX are rendered through DSP processing that's on the unit, meaning you won't be dealing with latency or any kind of slowdowns due to the application of those effects. Now, the video source also just shows up on OBS too. So when you go into the program and select your video source, it's right there. I had zero issues whatsoever. And that is all you need to get the built-in functionality out of this unit, just road central. So if you do want more power than that, you can also use this in conjunction with Unify so you get all the routing and all the other goodies that come along with that. Now, if you're interested in how that would work, I'm planning another video with some cool things that you can do with Unify and Streamer X. So get subscribed so you don't miss a thing. And by the way, for you Mac users, don't worry, I have confirmation that a version of Unify for Mac is coming out shortly after this thing launches. Now, that is the beauty of this ecosystem that Rode has been building out. There's so much more than just an interface with a capture card included. But as always, sometimes it makes you question, could there be more? Now, I want you to not get me wrong here. This thing is gonna fulfill the needs of most streamers, but I do think there is a bit of proof of concept thing here for Rode. They've always taken feedback and improved their devices. And when that reaches its peaks, they release a second edition like they did with the Rodecaster Pro 2. And I don't think this is gonna be any different. By the way, if you have any recommendations or things you wanna see, make sure you leave that stuff below. They're probably watching this video along with you and reading the comments, so now's your chance. This thing checks every box for a creator like me, and it's a powerful little device. But what kinds of future options are possible with a unit like this? Personally, I would love to see video switching with more than one HDMI input, something that goes after the ATEM lineup. Even a few more audio inputs as well that allow multi-person podcasts to have their own video source and audio source. Or how about just a straight up way to interface this with a Rodecaster Pro 2? That might be a little bit more niche, but with that kind of functionality, you're bringing pro level possibilities to the masses. And I know there are a lot of podcasts that would eat that stuff up, especially as bigger podcasts become more reliant on video. This thing, as with a lot of the products from Rode, seems to set a path for a very bright future for content creators. As we've seen with the Rodecaster Pro 2 though, this might not be the end game unit. The updates will just keep rolling out and that's super exciting. Now, the only other thing I would love to see on future iterations of this, and this is just me being picky, but some way to see what each smart pad is loaded with. It can be easy to get in the weeds and kind of forget where everything is, especially as you expand and put more and more into different profiles that you can load up. And when you're on the spot in a live stream, it can be kind of tough. You see the stream deck with that kind of solution. And while I don't want that for this thing, something though, anything to allow for identification would be amazing. As for ways to make the experience of this unit better, well, really there's only the one thing that I mentioned earlier, just include a super speed USB-C to USB-A cable. So should you buy it? This is a really interesting question for a lot of streamers. And I've heard from a lot of people already that already have a streaming setup going, what's the point? Uh, this thing does it all, but it, is it a replacement for what you already have? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, if you aren't super happy with your setup as it is, then yeah, this thing will be more than a lateral move for you. But realistically, this isn't necessarily aimed at streamers that have already perfected their setup and taken years to tweak all the things. This is for the new streamer or the streamer that wants to upgrade their setup without all the learning curve or the mess that can be associated with it. This is a one-stop streamer setup in a box that will have you up and running within 30 minutes. And for anyone that wants to complain about the pricing, and I've had a few of those comments like this one, let me just say this. This thing replaces an interface, a capture card, and a switcher like the Stream Deck. It does all of that. And it offers these things at well above the average quality like the preamps and the Apex system. Now go price all that stuff out. Then comment again and let me know if you still think the price of this thing is problematic. This was a massive swing for the fences for Rode. Not exactly sure how that analogy translates to Australian rules football, but you get my point. Either way, this is a unicorn on the market and it will only get better over time as we've seen Rode do with all of their products. It's a very smart move by them and I'm super excited to see the possibilities for the future as Rode again proves that they're one of the few companies that shouldn't stay in their lane. Now, what do you think though? Is the Streamer X a product that has been a long time coming? And better yet, are you getting one?
let me know down below. Also stay tuned, there's more from that big road announcement coming on this channel. And if you wanna see this thing actually live in person in a live stream, check this stream out right here. It's kind of popular, people are watching it. Luke, I am your father.